Hello guys, this is just a quick video to let you know that the Kickstarter for my controller here is up and running now. So if you're interested in the controller, follow the link in the description below. And in the rest of the video I'm going to show you a high definition version of the Kickstarter video. Hi, my name is Oshin, but most of you probably know me as the RC Tractor Guy on YouTube. Where I discuss converting static models into radio controlled vehicles like this one. The aim of this Kickstarter is to develop more electronics for vehicles like this one, but also for more complex vehicles like radio controlled excavators and other construction vehicles. I've started with what I think is the most important component, the RC controller. So I've tried to make this controller as customizable as possible so that we can use it in as many projects as possible. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the features of the controller. The design features 20 push buttons. They're just normal push buttons. We have two joysticks from PlayStation 3 controller. They're self-centering. That gives us four axes of control there. There's also a push button in each of these joysticks. And there's two encoders, each with a push button. You rotate the encoder and your code needs to count the pulses. And you just keep a record of the pulses to determine what position your encoder is in. There's also a dip switch here. That's a little switch that will hold its position once you set it. So that could be useful for selecting channels or something like that. To make it all work, you're going to need an Arduino Mega 2560 Pro Mini. That's kind of the brain of the controller. To get the most out of the controller, you're also going to want to have a 2.4 inch TFT Arduino shield. As well as having a 2.4 inch screen, this also has a touch screen on the front and an SD card slot on the back so you can add images. For communication, the controller has infrared LEDs, it also has an SBI slot which is useful for using NRF24 L01 radio modules and it has a UART output here in the form of an XB socket. So you can put an XB in there, or any other radio module which uses the XB footprint, so you can get a Bluetooth module or a Wi-Fi module to fit in there also. That's the features, so let's take a look at what you might want to control with it. You can control projects that use NRF24 L01 radio modules. You can control projects that use XB radios. With a little bit of work you should be able to get control over most infrared controlled toys like this IR controlled tractor. You can use it to control your infrared helicopters. You can use it to control your robotic creations. You can use it to control your TV when you're watching your favourite show. You can even use it to do some pretty high tech gaming. Actually you can make an Arduino appear as a keyboard so you probably could use it for a lot of PC games like those uh, farming simulator games and all that sort of stuff. But those are some examples of what the controller can be used for. I hope you found the video interesting and you consider supporting my Kickstarter campaign. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching. You can use it to control your robotic creations. Those are some examples. <laughs> <laughs>